Hello, Mr. Nguyen here, and welcome back to Total War 1942. It's a new day. We're gonna watch a battle between the British Commonwealth of Nations or the British Empire and and the Italian Empire, also known as Italy. So, the British Empire in my sub so we're playing Total War 1942, the mod for Rome Total War, and its expansion, Barbarian Invasion, works with both. I believe uh, or the, the sea battles or naval battles only work with uh, the barbarian invasion expansion. Everything else should work with the original game. Okay, and the, the mod was developed by Degwex Syrianus, the same guy that did uh, that port that Lord of the Rings that lore to, to lore room remastered this year. <coughs> okay, and uh, <coughs> it was also made by a guy that goes by the username of Salutzar. I also know that Salutzar was a crazy guy from, from uh, I believe, uh, one of the countries in Southeast Asia. But anyway, <coughs> one of the leaders there in the 70s or uh, 60s, I believe. Okay, but anyway, I'm gonna watch battle. This is my sub mod. I released in December last year through Google Drive. <coughs> it should have a stable campaign and it has some changes made with. Okay, like for example, change stats, um, additional units to some factions, maxed out unit numbers, and such. Some changes to the campaign map too. Okay, so Britain, they have a huge roster. If we do not count their three ships or four ships, they still have a roster this large. So they're one of the bigger factions, one of the bigger rosters in the game. Uh, we do not want to use post World War II uh, units. So this mod in the campaign takes place between 1942 and 1954. So they have some 50 stuff as well. So there won't be any ba uh, ships in the battle and uh, there won't be any 50 stuff. So the units that I've cut are this, uh, their best uh, artillery unit, the Tortoys. Uh, according to the description it was a design made during World War II but it was never produced. So that's... Uh, it's similar to, to the mouse and other futuristic uh, World War II uh, artillery pieces or tanks that uh, were designed but were never uh, made, so it won't be used. And then we have the FV-3805, which is another artillery piece. It's based on the Centurion tank from the 50s. We won't use it because it's based on a 50s tank using the same chassis as the 50s tank. And then there is the Crusader 5.5 uh, in SP, and uh, it was developed after the end of World War II as well. So they have three great artillery pieces that won't be used, or mobile artillery units that won't be used because they were made after World War II, or because they only were made in the design, they were never actually built. Okay, but they do have some units. So, uh, of course they have the riflemen, the basic infantry of all factions. Then they have an assault infantry unit. Unique for the British, I believe. And then, then they have scout snipers. And they have uh, the Indian volunteer assault infantry. So they, they are like uh, the same unit as the assault infantry, but uh, it's Indians instead. They have better stats. <coughs> Maybe in the official campaign they are even more numerous than the official unit because the Indians were very numerous. It's a country of over a billion people. So. Okay, then we have the Australian riflemen. So they have rifles just like the basic unit. But I suspect they are better. They are way better. They have 12 missiles instead of 5. They are like an elite version of the riflemen. They have two units of the Indian. Yeah, and the two units of the Australian. Then they have the Stokes Mortar Artillery. The, the one artillery piece that every faction has. 
then they have the AT25 PDR, same as the French Republic, just with a different British skin. It's a British artillery piece. They uh, gave uh, or, bought, or sold to, to the French Republic. So they have the same artillery piece here, two of them. And then they have a third one that is unique for Britain here. I believe that the Indian faction and the Portuguese uh, or Portugal faction also has this with different skins. So the Sexton British Artillery unit, mobile artillery. artillery. Sexton was a self-propelled artillery vehicle of the Second World War. So it fit the Second World War, unlike the other three uh, that unfortunately didn't fit the Second World War. Okay, then they have some tanks. They have the Matilda light tank, two of them, because they're fighting the Italian Empire here. They don't want them to have too many of the good tanks. Their, their two light tanks are still superior to the Italian light tanks. Okay, the Matilda. And then we have the, the new uh, tank that they were excited for 2.0 that they ported to this mod. Uh, by the way, the three futuristic artillery, uh, mobile artillery units, they were also new for this uh, version of the mod and for the 2.0 version. Uh, and one tank is new, uh, the Matilda medium tank, they have one of them, then they have the, the oh I had the mouse on the Matilda, this is the Cromwell, their new medium tank, new for this version and for the 2.0 version, uh, and then they have the old heavy tank, the Churchill, they have an anti-aircraft truck, they have two units of Spitfire fighters, fighter planes, they only have Spitfires, no other fighters, and then they have the Boeing B-17 with the unique British skin, uh, the best bomber in, in the game. So, uh, so their infantry it will be very even, but I believe the Italians have better infantry. Uh, Tiller, I believe that th the British are better because they have the Sexton. As for tanks, I believe Br the British have better light tanks for sure. Matilda is better than the Fire 3000 of the Italians. Then the medium tank, I believe that the British Cromwell is better than the, the Italian heavy tank. Uh, I don't remember the name of yeah, that was actually a medium tank but called a heavy tank okay and, and then the Churchill their heavy tank is actually slightly worse than the Italian heavy tank but the Italian heavy tank was never used by Italy in the war uh, because they did build it during the war but Germany took the, the factories from Italy because Italy changed sides and then they were actually used by Germany but in, in this mod uh, Italy has the tank so they are used by Italy in, in, in this battle despite uh, because they did uh, build the tank so they could have been used by Italy if Italy had stayed loyal to the alliance with to the Axis Pact with Germany because they switched sides uh, Germany decided to invade and then they took control over their factories and uh, used their best tanks against the allies so you can say that the Germans stole their best tanks and used them themselves in this mod however uh, Italy has their best tanks in their army okay then we have anti-aircraft trucks uh, uh, we have checked these already they should be the same as the, the Italian ones and the Spitfire fighter plane should be better than the Messerschmitt might be even uh, Italy has a unique fighter and then Italy has the Stuka bomber from Germany that they added because they wanted everyone to have a bomber except the mouth faction and then they have the armored officers called general okay so I think the British army is the better army they have the Boeing B-17 heavy bombers after all then we have the Italian army they are also big they have uh, three units of ships instead of four so that's why their army is one unit smaller. Okay, so their army, they have the basic uh, rifleman infantry. Then they have the tank infantry. Good, but not very numerous. Then they have the scout snipers. And then they have two unique ones. The Decima, the Decima Flotiglia. They're unique, like elite uh, marine corp. And I gave them two of these. They are elite 
similar to the SS unit, it was an SS unit of the Germans For the elite uh, marines of the United States, they also have a unique uh, elite infantry unit And they have two uh, cavalry units, so Italy during World War II had the best cavalry in the world They were known to have the best uh, cavalry school in, in, the, in the world as well And their cavalry did very well in the war in, in the front uh, against the British in Africa and against the Soviets in, in the Soviet Union. So they were known for their cavalry. Cavalry was obsolete, but the Italian cavalry did very well during the war. They also had the last uh, cavalry charge in history, I believe. Other factions that used cavalry, I believe of uh, Romania, they also had cavalry in this mode, and I believe that Japan has that too. Maybe the Chinese, I don't know, but the, the Jap Japanese had it too. Okay, then we have the Stokes Mortar, shared with everyone else, and they have the Pack 40s from Germany, like most other uh, smaller Axis powers. Now, Italy isn't a smaller power, but they were a weaker power. Okay, so they have uh, the same artillery as the smaller Axis powers, but they have uh, unique elite infantry, and they have the cavalry. And then they have two units of uh, Fire 3000 light tanks. The worst tank in the game, I believe, believe in real life. They also had uh, tankettes that were even worse than this. Uh, but they are not a part of the mod. Okay, then we have the P2640 heavy tank. And, and uh, the P2640 was an Italian World War II heavy tank, but it was in reality a medium tank. I would say it's worse than the British medium tank, the Cromwell. And then we have the Progretto M35, their heavy tank. <coughs> well, it's called medium, but it's heavier than the, the one they call the heavy tank. And as I said, it was never used by Italy in the war, but it was produced and used by Germany, so it, it, it will take part in the battle. Then we have the anti-aircraft trucks. We have the Messerschmitt 109 fighters. <coughs> Same fighter planes as most other uh, smaller Axis powers. Then we have the ME 110 <coughs> fighter planes. A unique, <coughs> excuse me, a unique fighter plane of the Italian Empire uh, fr that they also got from Germany. But Germany doesn't have it in the game, just like with the EU 52s. And then they got a Stuka uh, tactical bomber. From Germany, I added it to this army because I wanted them to have a bomber. It made the most sense to give them Stuka. They had Stukas in real life. Okay, let's start the battle. We'll fight the battle in the Sahara Desert in Africa. <coughs> Here we have a picture of the American army and their mortars. <coughs> controlling the British in the, army in the battle, but we will retreat with our general's bodyguard <coughs> or armored officer's car to start the battle. Let's take a look at the <coughs> British army. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Got very, <coughs> very dry in my throat. There. So we have the best heavy bombers in the game, the Boeing B-17 British bo bombers, but America also have them and some minor allied powers, and I believe in this summer Soviet also has access to them because they had no bombers of their own it, and it made the most sense that they would get them from America as land, land lease, but I believe only India and Britain have the British gain for these bombers they are really good, they are better than the U-88 bombers. <coughs> and then they have two units of, uh, <coughs> of Spitfires fighters. They are over here, Spitfires. 
blir det Indian Fair Kinalis SXS to them and the Republic of France. <coughs> but I believe the French Republic has a unique skin for them. All the Indians have the same skin as the British. Okay. <coughs> and then we have the army. Take a look at their troops. Here we have the riflemen. The British Empire. The British Commonwealth. Salt infantry of the British. I check the rifleman again. Salt infantry. These are the British riflemen. Um, these are the Salt infantry, they might actually be. No, I think they are British. Yeah. <coughs> Thought if they were borrowed from America, but they weren't. Okay, then we have the scout snipers. Elite infantry. The British. We have the, the aircraft trucks of the British Empire. Name the British Commonwealth of Nations, but they were the entire empire. So. Then here we have the Indian Volunteer Assault Infantry. They have assault rifles and the Indians conscripted into the army. I believe they would be more numerous than other infantry. <coughs> playing the official mod <coughs> but here in the sub mod I maxed out all the numbers ok here we have the Matilda light tanks of the British it's a very good light tank much better than many of the other light tanks of the mod two units of these the Matilda tank Then we have uh, their Stokes Mortar Tiller, their Cruise, and they have the AT25 PDR, the unique British skin, also in use with this skin uh, by the Indians. Because the Indians were like a vassal of the British Empire. And then we have their Armed Officers Car General's Bodyguard, their Jeeps. The general here, in an orange uniform. Okay. The beakler in his hand. We have more artillery. We have more of the AT25 PDR. Similar to the Pack 40s. Then they have the unique one, the Sexton. Also shared with India and Portugal, I believe. But only India has the same skin. The British, it's a better artillery piece. Fortunately for Britain, they couldn't use the others that were even better because they were post World War II yeah, artillery pieces. I didn't want to use them, I'm trying to watch battles from World War II here. I don't want them to have units that weren't in World War II. Okay, so the Sexton British tank might do battles later where I watch every faction fight with every unit that they have in the army but uh, <coughs> currently I'm just watching them fight with their World War II stuff so the Sexton is a better artillery mobile artillery unit the British they have artillery advantage then they have, we have more infantry we have more of the Indian volunteer assault infantry and we have the Australian riflemen are way better than the ordinary riflemen and they have Australian cowboy hats a unique looking infantry unit of the British then we have more tanks we have more of the Matilda light tank another unit of Matildas then I believe um, uh, so they took up the entire first row here 
Then we have the Cromwell medium tank here. The new unit. I believe they got a new heavy tank too, the Centurion. But um, it's not in the battle because it's a 50s tank. So this is a new medium tank of the Second World War. Added to the 2.01 version of the war room. Uh, not the war 1942 and to, to the sub mod I ported it from 2.01 because 2.01 we are unstable in the campaign I wanted all the new units in the campaign so if we compare the medium tank with the Matilda light tank we can clearly see that it's way bigger the much bigger turret as well so it's clearly an improvement in tank development and then we have the Churchill heavy tank in the back you can see that it has better armor than the even the Cromwell and is even larger with the largest like uh, turret too so yeah the, the Churchill is way bigger than the Matilda and even bigger than the Cromwell which is bigger than the Matilda Matilda is really small, Cromwell is bigger, and then the Churchill is even bigger. Uh, of course the tank of uh, the 50s is even bigger than the, sh the Churchill, I believe. Uh, so the Churchill is still, uh, I believe, smaller than the King Tiger and the Tiger. But it looks huge here, probably bigger than anything Italy has. Okay, so this is the British Army. In the mod only the World War II equipment and no 50s equipment. Let's start the battle. I post the game immediately. I want to take a look at the Italian army. The Italians, they have some unique planes. They have the Messerschmitt 110 planes. They are fighter planes. Or ME 110. The unique Italian skin look it could have been used by Germany too but I didn't want them in the German army when they had a different skin same reason for why I'm, I'm not using the U-52 another German plane used by Hungary so, so Germany could have had both ME-110s and U-52s as well As they are German built but would make Germany totally overpowered to have all of those units and also didn't look good in the army with the Italian or Hungarian skins. Yeah, this is a unique fighter plane of the Italian Empire. In this mod. And they have the, I believe, uh, this is also that plane. This is the Messerschmitt 109 fighter plane or ME 109. So uh, this plane is used by most Axis powers, including Spain. That wasn't really an Axis power, but we're still friendly with the Axis. Uh, and sent a, I believe, a division to Soviet. Anyway, uh, to fight the Soviets, of course. Uh, so they have a unique skin here, the ME 109 fighter planes. So they have two different variations of fighters. Where of one is unique. Uh, they have very unique skins. And then they have the Stuka tactical bombers with the German skins because they were not originally added for this faction. I just wanted every faction to have bombers. That's why I added the Stukas to them. They had Stukas according to info on Wikipedia. There was no reason for them not to have them. Um, so I added the Stukas to the only bomber. They are worse than the bigger bombers, of course. They are still effective. And then as for their army. They have the basic riflemen. I believe in the official game there are different uh, numbers uh, for different factions riflemen. So for example, the Soviet riflemen might have more numerous infantry than, than the, the uh, Germans or Italians, for example. I believe the Italians were not 
used fewer in numbers in reverse, I believe, in stats compared to the Germans too. I believe uh, in this sub mod they have the same numbers as everyone else, but they still have worse stats than the Germans, for example. They are not very good, their infantry, their basic rifle infantry. Then they have the tank, anti-tank units, they are really good, but few. And they have the snipers, very effective against other infantry units. Snipers, then they have the flotiglia, the decima flotiglia, decima flotiglia, elite mariners of the Italian Empire, their best infantry unit. They, they have a uh, I believe assault rifles too. With unique stats, a unique model. There are two units of these. I would say the Italians have the upper hand in infantry, seeing as they also have the cavalry mounted riflemen that fire rifles on top of horses from horseback. Very numerous too, maxed out. Okay, have their like cavalry. Then we have two units of Fiat 3000 light tanks, the worst tank in the game, even worse than the Renault FT French tanks. And another uh, 20s tank, I believe. It's the worst one in the game giving Italy a disadvantage in tanks as the two Matilda light tanks of the British are better then we have the, this tank this I think is their best tank the Progretto whatever I think it looks like their best tank it was counted as a medium tank but certainly better than their heavy tank looks good with a good turret and heavy armor but not that big yeah it looked good and then we have the anti-aircraft trucks the Italian Empire with the unique Italian skin pretty much everyone has uh, anti-aircraft trucks then they have the Stokes motor the Italian crew they have the Pack 40 artillery from Germany have no unique artillery. We have the armored officer's car bodyguard, the general here, a white uniform. And they have more pack fort artillery in the back. There's nothing unique in terms of artillery. Then they have more fight 3000, another unit of them. And in the back they should have another good tank. So this I think is their heavy tank but with uh, the armor of a medium tank I believe the Italians didn't give their tanks very good armor they called a medium tank a heavy tank it certainly looks better than the than the Fire 3000 and any of the tankettes that they had many of uh, it's probably good enough to fight the Matilda light tank but it's still weaker than the Cromwell medium tank well these tanks I believe are better than the Cromwell and might even be a challenge for the, for the Churchill it looks smaller than the Churchill and have probably worse armor but their turret is good enough I believe to be able to penetrate the Churchill so these tanks were built by Italy in the war kidnapped by or stolen by the Germans used by the Germans they were actually used in the war but by a different nation okay so this is the Italian Empire they didn't get any tankettes but tankettes would have been worthless anyway they would have been even worse than the fire 3000 tanks here they had a lot of them in the invasion of uh, the Soviet Union and against nations in Africa. 
Well, they were good against, for example, Ethiopia or Assyria. No, Ethiopia, I believe Abyssinia was the name of that nation back then. Uh, well, they were good against them because they had only like infantry and cavalry. Yeah, I believe that um, against the British, the French, or the Americans, they weren't much of a. They weren't very good. Okay, let's start the battle and retreat with this jeep unit. Balance of forces is evenly matched to our advantage. Uh, I mean, the British. British has slight advantage. These tanks still looked decent. Probably didn't make too many of them. They only arrived at a late war. Probably in 1943, but the war ended in 1943 for Italy, so least that's when they changed sides and Germany invaded. <coughs> the cavalry. British army. Our men are fleeing the battle. Rally so there. We have the Churchill, their heavy tank. <coughs> Italian tanks. Oh, we have the Boeing B-17 heavy bombers. Teens are really strong. Heavy bombers, they are not immortal, but they fire a lot of bombs at once. The 
Italians are losing the battle. Get out to the church and heavy tanks. Italian elite infantry is over here, but they are being overrun by the British tanks. Have some fighter thousand still intact. They all have light trails. British. I think the Decima Tiglia infantry. The sky where British planes and stupid attack our bombers. The Italians. They're dropping bombs. The Stukas. Lines. Okay. Yeah, they are still very good those bombers, especially with the increased numbers. The cavalry is better than the infantry, the same weapons for sure. I seem to have a sunset to continue the battle. I believe that uh, Italy is finally broken. Cavalry is retreating. Trying to save themselves. Stukas in the air. They are broken, trying to escape. Can't really fight the Spitfire fighter planes. Literally seems to have lost their fighters. The uh, Britain seem to have lost all their Boeing B-17 heavy bombers. Let me till the light tanks here, driving forward, chasing the cavalry, the Italians, they have a lot of Spitfires in the air, trying to shoot down the Stukas. Total chaos on the ground amongst the cavalry. Field. Yeah, I did expect the British to, to win. So the Italians uh, lost 57% uh, and the British lost 23%. So the 
British Army, even with only the World War II stuff, were still superior to the Italian Army. Riflemen here, with their hats, still marching on, marching forward. Okay, Italians are about to leave the battlefield. Their cavalry. Empire had 3,881 troops, killed 2,088 of the Italians, have 2,796 remaining alive. Uh, under Captain Joffrey, and then we have Captain uh, Ranieri of the Italians, he had 3,665 men, so about 200 less, 220 less, and uh, killed 933 of the British and have 488 remaining. So they killed about the same as the Hungarians killed the Soviets, uh, I believe, in the previous video. But the, the British killed way more than the Soviets killed of the Hungarians. Okay, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye.